My friends and I legally overthrew a restaurant that uses child labor and is run by an evil cult. Do you speak again? You're gonna get detained, okay? Yes! I used their own legal loophole against them, making me the legal owner of this restaurant now. So first, we fired all the cult members. And now, we can literally do whatever we want with the place. Before you click away from the video, because you don't believe me, we actually pulled this off, and everything we did in the video was, uh, we think was 100% legal. So let's just get right to it. Here's how I pulled it off. First, I spent three weeks undercover in a cult called the 12 Tribes doing investigative journalism work with secret cameras. This cult owns a restaurant as a recruiting device called the Yellow Deli. And while I was working undercover, the first thing I discovered is that this restaurant doesn't pay their employees. They only use slave labor. And believe it or not, using slave labor is actually illegal under the California Minimum Wage Act. So I was curious and asked these guys what loophole they use to get away with this. Does this restaurant ever run into like, problems with minimum wage issues since someone gets paid here? Oh, we're under an LLC. No, everybody who works here is owned it. Oh. So we don't have that issue. So, so I'm an owner since I'm working here? Part owner. Wait, really? Yeah, because um, basically that way nobody can just take the restaurant over. So you have to, you have to win like, both by half. So it keeps the yellow deli safe as far as that. That's a, that's a cool loophole. Yeah. Now it's time to use their cool loophole against them. So here's the plan. Get a large group of my friends to all get hired by this restaurant, making them actual legal owners of the Yellow Deli. When the next employee meeting happens, we do a group vote to fire all the other employees. Which according to their own LLC, you need to win by a majority vote to pass any business decisions. Now that they're all fired, we're the only owners left, which means looks like we own the restaurant now. And as owners of the restaurant, we're gonna rebrand the place. First off, there's gonna be no more child abuse, no more child labor, and the new restaurant's gonna stop praising things like slavery and Hitler. Yeah, but we gotta take over the restaurant first, so time to take over the restaurant. Okay, guys, some of you guys may die. That's a sacrifice that we're all willing to make to take this evil cult down. You guys ready for this? Yeah! yeah! Hey, guys, one, two, three, burn it! Let's go, let's go! So you guys are definitely thinking right now. Ben, what the heck are you thinking? I mean, you don't just expect that this restaurant's just gonna hire your entire group of friends on the spot, do you? Well, that's where I'm six steps ahead. Because while I was still undercover infiltrating this cult, I found out about their main prophecy, which they actually believe that 144,000 virgins are gonna just show up to their cult one day. I assume this is how they expect the virgins to show up. And then they're gonna like sacrifice them. It's gonna bring the end of the world or whatever. So I asked a few of the members, once all these virgins show up, are they just automatically hired at the restaurant? Like, do they just get a job? What would happen if like 40 people randomly just showed up at the deli and we're like, we're ready to work. Would you guys be able to like have work for the people? Yeah. Because yeah. that's gonna happen someday, right? It's, it's gonna, gonna be crowded. Thousands of people. So it's yeah. slow now, but it's gonna get like really fast really soon. At some point. Yep, that's the main prophecy that this restaurant believes in. So I guess if all my friends knock on their door just pretending to be virgins, they're just gonna think that their prophecy is finally coming true. So check it out. We're entering as the San Diego Virgin Club. That's why we all just chanted virgins before. Virgin! So Danny, Lydia, and I hit on the outside while everyone else walked in through the back employee entrance. Oh, yeah. yeah. Who, um, who brought you? Oh, we're with the Chicago. Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah, uh, it was like a project. We were, we were, we were interested in like learning more and stuff. Um, well, if y'all could kind of hit follow me this way. Oh, okay. I think they're in. I think they're in. I'm saying they want to help out. Yeah, we definitely are going to need that. Yeah. We got tables that we got. Um, we have to seat. The sandwich bar probably could use some help. We get a crew going on dishes. Maybe a crew can start sweeping the floor. What this restaurant didn't know is that my friends are some of the hardest workers out there. They were sweeping, mopping, cleaning the bathroom, doing dishes, setting tables, moving boxes from one place and to put them in another place. They were doing lots and lo lots of work. The only downside is nobody got paid for the hard work they were doing. It's okay. They, they only didn't get paid because they're now official owners of this restaurant. This is going way too well. Wait, really? Y'all are an answer to prayer. <laughs> Exactly no, <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, but guys, 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 what if it's a trap? But it wasn't a trap. Or maybe it was, I don't know. Um, either way, if it was a trap, 
my friends successfully all became owners. And the plan was going great. Until... Oh, you met Ravok with the farm? Oh, yeah. So these virgin friends of mine told the staff that they met a guy named Ravok. Let, yeah. uh, let me just call Ravok real quick. So now they want to call him to verify that these are actual real virgins and not some secret group in disguise trying to infiltrate them. I think we might be... They're, they're calling him right now. My friends didn't care and decided to keep working. And I guess the guy named Dravak told them that he didn't send a group of virgins here. So now this restaurant's wondering, who sent us a giant group of virgins? You know Ben and Dan? They used to help out here. You ever met Ben and Dan? He's not bad. Well, we know someone called Gary, but like, yeah. I think at this point it's pretty obvious that Danny and I are the ones behind this fake group of virgins. But, but for some reason, they're still allowing all my friends to continue working for them. If we can all gather around and grab a bag, that'll be great. So yeah. it's back to work again, outside picking up trash. Say hi to Ben and Dan if they ever show up. Who's that? If they ever show up, you'll have to say hi to Ben and Dan. Oh, they're two fellows that uh, they claim to be part of the virgin club too. And somehow, even with them knowing who we were, all of my friends became legal owners of this restaurant and decided to participate in the next employee group meeting. You're all right, you're gonna have a seat. Relax. Group meeting. I think it's time that uh, we have new changes, right? So no more, no more, no more racism, no more, you know, people hating Jews. We are a good community that loves everybody, right? Yeah. Yes, exactly. It is our restaurant. Oh, We're basically all owners, right? Yeah. 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 Hoorah! Three, one, two, three! Hoorah! Hoorah. All right, guys. Anyway, so now that we're all owners, I think that uh, we should probably fire everyone here, right? I think so. It's a majority yeah, yeah. vote. Yeah. I feel like it's 15 of us. Any all in favor of us being owners and nobody else? Yeah. Say aye. 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 Nobody could believe it, but my friends had just legally overthrown the Yellow Deli restaurant. This wasn't just a proud moment for us. This is so much more than that. We're, we're going to rebrand this place from an evil cult to the, the, the best restaurant ever. Let's go. I think this is going to work out well. First, we're going to hang up two signs I had custom made by Danny's mom. A grand reopening sign. And another that says, not a cult anymore, because cults suck. Y'all need it. Y'all need to get going. We're rebranding right. this. Should we hang this up? Time to go down. Time to go. I'll be going to get picked up for trespassing. It was going amazing, but then, out of nowhere, one of the previous owners, who was super angry that he just got fired, ripped down our sign. That guy doesn't even work here. Yeah. He's trying to tell us how to do our job. You guys should take up. Do you know I anything? own the place. You own the place? We're all owners, aren't we? Yeah, so let's do, let's do it. Let's do it. Yes. This is the real world where it's survival of the fittest. Okay. All right. Uh-huh. So if you want to challenge me, that's fine. We can do that. But fighting to win ownership of the restaurant is not how the Yellow Deli's LLC works. It works by majority vote, and we have the majority. Well, we can do it employee no group vote. Hey, right? no. I say the fairest way not is we should have employee. We no. should have uh, employee vote. group vote to see if we should hang these back up. And majority votes. Yeah, I'm. 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 It looks like you're outvoted. You're being asked to leave. It looks like you just got outvoted. So let's. Let's rebrand. Let's do it. Uh, oh. You're about to get rebranded. Let's rebrand. I'm in favor. You think you're fucking cute, you little yeah. shit? <laughs> you, you can't be doing that, man. You cannot be doing that. You literally, you literally just kicked the owner out of his own restaurant. <laughs> Yeah, so as you can see, these previous employees are not taking it the best that they just got fired. If you don't like our restaurant, you don't have to eat here. So they're going to start to take their anger out in what I think are some pretty unreasonable ways. You're a customer. Don't fucking touch me. Oh, don't fucking touch me, all right? Pause for a second. Yeah, if we go back. I mean, she bumps into me, but uh, we'll, we'll let it keep playing. You're, You're a customer. Don't fucking touch me. Oh, don't fucking touch me, all right? Wait, wait, wait. I just you just don't don't touch me. You're You're fucking touch me. You're You're fucking touch me. 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 you customers in our restaurant. So hopefully the cops come soon and can deal with this. Well, let's, let's rebrand. Let's go back up and put the things back up. And then the cops finally showed up. Thank God. Finally, they can deal with this delusional customer and, and the physical assault that took place. We had a customer at our restaurant basically just come up and start pushing us in. The Yellow Deli. 
Hey, are you workers here or are you just- Oh, uh, we're owners. Yeah. yeah, we're owners of this restaurant. And uh, we had a customer basically come up and start pushing us. I mean, we're not gonna deny anyone service. Like if he's a paying customer and he wants to eat at our restaurant, like of course we'll serve him. But uh, it was just a little rude. So when is the last time you worked here? The last time I worked? Yes. Like today? Because we come here all the time. I've never seen you. You've never seen the me? The person that I talk to, I see you. Well, I'm, no, I'm always back in the kitchen, so that's why you don't see me normally. On the farm. So here's the yeah. deal. They're saying you guys don't work here. Oh. Okay. So unless you can show me any type of documentation, yeah, we can. You work here. We can pull up the documentation and stuff, but so, so here's here's where I'm coming from. Right? We have we have all the legal Let documentation. Me speak. Let me speak. Okay. okay. We come here all the time, right? Uh huh. All the time. Uh huh. Because of 24 hours. The yeah. We could do this here. We like coming here a lot. Uh huh. I've never seen you. Yeah. Okay. I've never seen you. Well, that's because I'm back in the kitchen. Listen. Yeah. I've never seen you. This cop's wrong. And I have video evidence to prove it. I mean, I have video evidence of all of us working. The cops can decide with the fired employees. Because the employees that we just fired used to give all police officers free food. Yeah, they're pretty much bribing the cops. That's not evidence that you just come here all the time. It should be evidence if I show you the okay. proof, right? The person that works here says you don't work here. No, I'm the person that works here, and I'm saying that he doesn't work here. I'm saying that he works here, and he's saying that you guys don't work here. He just got fired tonight. He didn't. How do you know? Did, the worker says he doesn't want your group here. Uh huh. Okay. So but we're all, said, but we're owners of the restaurant though. I, you can't show me any proof that. that yeah, I will. I, I can I can pull it up. Written in the LLC. What's the LLC? Uh, limited liability company. Uh, I mean, these police officers are really just doing whatever they can to to not look at the LLC. Can we pull up yeah. the LLC? I don't know what that is, but... I, this might be a conspiracy here, but he might just be making that up so he doesn't have to look at the proof that's on my phone. What you're talking about so far, has, you have no proof of what you're, of, of anything? Can I show you proof then? No, because I'm not an attorney. So how am I supposed to prove that I work here then if the only thing that you're willing to go off is your opinion and the evidence you keep asking for, you're not going to look at it? I mean, should I pull up the LLC? No, I don't want to talk, talk about the LLC. So it's getting to the point where I'm like, okay, cops, you ask for all the proof, and when I try and show it to you, you don't read it. So I'm just going to try and explain to you guys the proof as best as I can. Written in the LLC, in all the paperwork, which is verifiable online, you can look it up on your phone if you want, uh, it says that everyone that works a shift here is considered an owner of the restaurant. So we have all worked here. In the LLC also it says group decisions are made on majority vote. So if you want to fire an employee, it has to be on majority vote. So we are all owners of the restaurant and we outvoted to fire all of the current members. And we had a group meeting, it legally happened, and uh, they have all been fired tonight. And now that the cops know that my friends and I legally own this restaurant, they don't know how to respond back. So they had to do a little cop group meeting. The only reason why we're here is that there was a group call. There was a group call? There was a group call saying that you guys were taking over the business. That's, that's why you have so many cops. Oh, well, yeah, we're taking it over, but we did it legally. You've worked for the LL? Since June, yes. You guys an employee? Yes. And we have all video evidence of it. And now the cop group meeting's done. I guess you guys are here to kind of take over the deli. We did everything legally. We have documentation okay. of everything that happened. I don't care about uh -huh. that right now. Okay. Um, we know we come here. A lot of the law enforcement officers come here, right? So I do have, we do have a working relationship with the people that do work here currently. Uh -huh. All right. But you guys coming in here, the only thing you're going to find yourself doing is getting arrested if they want to if they want prosecution for you guys. Because you have a relationship with them? Here? I've never seen you. I've been here multiple times. Well, that's because Two, I was in the kitchen. Three, so he doesn't care about the evidence. He just cares about his personal relationship with them, <laughs> his free food. <laughs> so you're going to let them refuse to get fired by the owners of the restaurant because you have a relationship, a if personal relationship? Interpret, if that's how you want to interpret it, yes. Theoretically, if I were to walk back onto the restaurant that I'm an owner of, you would arrest me. I don't, I don't work theoretically. So it would, it would be a citizen's arrest by that. So, I mean, it just kind of hurts because like, we're the owner of this restaurant okay. now and, I'm sorry. and we fired them and yeah. it's like, do you have your ID with you? I mean, the more the conversation went on, the more the cops would just say the stupidest things just to, I don't know, just make them look right and me look wrong, I guess. Reckless Ben, R-E-C-K. Oh, you forgot the W. No, it, Reckless is spelled without a W. Reckless? I'm pretty sure, yeah. No, no. There's a W. A sign. There is? Yeah. I'm no, pretty I sure. I have to do some homework on my name. I'm Wait, kidding. let's look it up. Let's. Reckless. Let's see. Yeah, see, no W. Oh, a... you're genius. Yeah. Finally, the first proof this guy's looked at. Don't Are you going to leave? Am I not on the sidewalk right now? or? You, can't, you just can't block the sidewalk. Am I blocking it? If you guys end up 
end up blocking it. I mean, we would just have to sue them. That's the only way to resolve this is yes. for us to sue them. Yes. So to the people who think that they still own the Yellow Deli, I'm suing you guys because the rules are the rules. And if they weren't the rules, that would mean that you would have to pay your employees the amount you owe them, which I actually calculated. Since opening in 2010, your employees would have worked to combine 800,000 hours, which at minimum wage is over $12 million. I know you can't afford to pay $12 million. That's what you would have to do if the loophole I used on you guys didn't work. So if the loophole does work, but what you can't afford to do is just admit that I found a flaw in your loophole. So when I walk into my restaurant next time, you won't be violent towards me and you won't call the cops on me because we are the legal owners of this restaurant now. So let us rebrand our restaurant.